Hi everybody, uh, my name is Peter Burvich. I'm the zoo curator here at Miller Park Zoo and Eric is behind me on the camera over here. Uh, today we are introducing new bees to Miller Park Zoo. Uh, we have three new hives that we're installing for the summer. Um, hopefully they will survive and thrive and do really well for us for uh, the next couple years. Um, so when the bees arrive, they're shipped to us in packages like this. It's basically what we call a nuke. Um, inside are a bunch of worker bees. Uh, this silver can is actually just food to help feed them during transport. And inside this container, there's a small cage uh, that houses the queen. The queen is kept uh, separately. Um, she's held in place by a plug of sugar that the bee worker bees will then chew through and get her out in a few days. But that helps the rest of the workers establish uh, in the hive so they don't fly away immediately. Um, so what you see here is what we call a Langstroth hive. It is several different uh, panels deep. So these are just empty frames for the bees to uh, start building comb off of with some helpful imprints for them to follow. Um, and then we have a secondary feed box, which just contains uh, jars for bee food uh, that we're going to be putting in for them. Uh, as the bees grow, eventually we'll be able to take more of these empty boxes and stack them on top of each other. Uh, one of these boxes will just become what we call a brood box, which is just a box for the queen to make babies in, and the rest of it will contain honey. Uh, but when we first get the bees in, we want to make give them a nice small home to fill out first, and we don't worry about uh, separating the queen out from them at all. So what we do first is we have our smoker. Uh, the smoke helps calm the bees down. Uh, so you want to make sure they're nice and calm before you start messing around and uh, moving them around. And the second is a spray bottle with bee juice. This is basically just a sugar water uh, with some pollen additives added to it. You want to take this and spray it all over the frames. It helps it so when the bees do come out of the box, they have something to munch on pretty much right away. Uh, this is a little stressful for them, so we want to make sure that we're giving them every reason to stay here possible. So once we do that, you don't need to do all of them, just a few. Uh, it helps get them situated. And these are reused frames. We do have, uh, have had beehives here in the past, so we want to reuse as much as we can without being wasteful. Uh, they are cleaned in between each hive use. And if you guys look right here, you can actually see one of the bees uh, with his tongue sticking out. He's already finding these little droplets and eating them. So he is quite hungry already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack this open. We're gonna see if we can get this to come out in one piece. Nope. Uh, looks like the can's falling in. And inside these cans is just sugar water. Same thing that we use um, in the spray bottle to help keep them fed. It's just so they have a nice, comfy ride. Here we go. And then inside, you can actually see the little queen cell right there. So that's where the queen is. So we're just gonna reach in there and grab that. Oh, and they got some comb. So you can see the sugar that's holding the queen in. She'll eventually chew right out through the back there. And inside, that nice long bee right there is the queen. And she's got a couple workers in there with her to help keep her fed. There she is. And they're all trying to get to her. So what we do is we put the queen in the hive first and she'll go down at the bottom here towards the back. So that way as she comes out, the workers will be around her. And now this looks a little unceremonious, but it's pretty much shake the bees up. And as you can see, even in their transport, uh, where they came from, they already started building comb in here. So there's nothing in the comb. Obviously, they haven't really uh, had time to make honey or go look for pollen while they were being shipped. 
But what we do is we'll actually just leave this sit out for a few days right next to the hive. Now that the queen's in here, and as you guys can see, they're already starting to move around. I don't know if you can see that. The workers are all around the queen trying to feed her to make sure she's doing okay. And then we just close it up. And we'll give them a little bit of food so they don't have to worry about looking for their own right now. So we just take a mason jar that has some holes punched into the lid here. And we fill it with our own bee juice mix, which is basically sugar water with some pollen additives to it. And this will get the bees nice and started before our summer hits and there's enough pollen for them to start feeding on their own. Once summer comes along, we don't really do much supplement feeding with them. They're fully capable of taking care of themselves. Uh, during the winter, they'll get a special mix of this uh, as well as uh, some solid foods, uh, which is basically sugar patties um, that doesn't freeze. And we come back in a few days. Now we have an installed beehive. So eventually, once the queen gets out, she'll start to establish herself. The worker will start building comb of their own, building cells for the queen to be able to lay eggs. The queens can live up into these hives for up to five years. Workers only live about six months, uh, so the queen is constantly replenishing the worker force. Uh, they're going to build um, cells for her to lay eggs into, and that's her job. All day long, she just lays eggs. The workers will take care of them. They'll go out and find food. And then during the summertime, drones will be made, which are male bees. They'll go out and mate with other queens. Uh, once a queen is mated, she's done. She only mates once in her lifetime. Uh, and hopefully we're going to have a great successful hive uh, season here at Miller Park Zoo. So thank you all.